Sonic name has been in Star Wars' longest standing board range. It's seen the rise and fall of slalom in the 90s, early 2000s, with the hypersonic, it single-handedly resurrected slalom as we know it today. In 2006, since the isonics were first introduced, they've dominated the racing scene, winning all the tests and winning on national racing circuits. The isonics became the most successful production slalom boards in windsurfing history. The core of the Isonic research and development is based around the maximum efficiency concept. Isonics are specifically designed to cover a massive wind range. They are designed to work with a massive fin range, allowing the board to reach peak performance in a super, super wide range of conditions. The Isonics are designed for maximum top end speed, but also for maximum average speed, for maximum speed on all tacks for maximum overtaking ability to windward or to leeward. The Isonics are also designed to jibe with maximum efficiency, with maximum in and out speeds. The R&D team involved in the creation of each successive Isonic design is huge. Sven Rasmussen, Remy Vila, Sven Ackerboom, Kevin Pritchard, Cyril Musilmani, Jimmy Diaz, Jim Drake and myself. We were the team to develop the 2010 collection. From PWA champions to your average freerider, from 100 kilos to 60 kilos, none of the boards are validated unless all approved. Simply put, the Isonics need to be the best for the best and the best for the rest. What are the Isonic secrets? A square nut nose in the front creates a virtually longer board. This allows for a low nose rocker. A low nose rocker will lower the aerodynamic angle of attack, less drag to increase your top speed, and less vertical lift to increase your control in windy conditions. The lower angle of attack is also valid for water. Water that hits the hull of the board from chop or from the back of waves for example, create more vertical forces instead of the backwards pushing forces that would normally slow you down. So more top end speed through lower drag more control through left nose lift and losing less speed when hitting chop. This is the new low nose concept. In the tail, the board is designed to have a high aspect ratio planing surface. Like the wings of a plane or the fin of a slalom board, a high aspect ratio is more efficient. More lift, less drag. The tail of the isolates are designed to be wide. This creates a wider and shorter wetted surface compared to conventional narrow tail boards. The wide tail also gives the board more power, more overtaking ability and gives the rider more leverage over the fin. What's new for 2010? In the back half of the board we have new rail shapes. This is in the 101, the 111, the 121 and the 131 models. These new rail shapes have a harder release edge. This allows the board to release water more efficiently for more speed and quicker acceleration both onto the plane and in the gusts. The new rail shapes also increase the width of the planing surface without increasing overall width. This again increases the aspect ratio of the planing surface making it more efficient and thus faster. There's also the new cutaway shapes. These reduce the actual wetted surface area to reduce skin friction and therefore increase top end speed. The Isonic 86 Slim is an all new concept within the range too. It is identical to the Isonic 86 but slimmer. It is 5 liters smaller and offers much more control for lighter riders, for super windy conditions or simply people who don't need the extra 5 liters. The bottom of the board, the, the rocker line, the rail shape below the apex, they are the same as those on the Isonic 86. It's an all new concept that offers new levels of high wind control and performance. The Isonic 94 is also new. It used to be a scaled up version of the 86. The new 2010 Isonic 94 is a scaled down version of the 101. This makes the 94 more of the compact style. It has improved top end performance over the outgoing 94 but with so much more bottom end and so much more lower wind power. It has a much wider wind range. 
Also new for 2010 are the technology options. The wood options remain the construction of choice with maximum rigidity, control, comfort and dynamic shape stability. The new wood carving construction is the new option for those looking for the lowest weights and the stiffest construction. The 121, 131 and 144 are built with carbon both deck and bottom. This offers the lightest weights and the stiffest hull to maximize efficiency in light winds. The 94, 101 and 111 are built with a carbon deck and a wood bottom. This gives a blend between stiffness and control that is ideal for medium winds. This basically summarizes the all new 2010 Isonics. It's all about maximum efficiency.